Good morning, my beautiful fellow human beings. Mm. Make sure that you stay hydrated. It's getting warmer now. So this is something that I feel I really need to talk to you about today. More and more people around me for whatever reason, I don't know if there's like some huge expansion happening right now, but more and more people are telling me that they're going through major lessons in life. And they have been asking me like, how come that now that I have everything, when I finally achieved so many things in my life, it's like, nope, we're not gonna let you rest. And there's a perfect explanation for why this is happening, why when you are striving for something and you finally get those things, like you manifest a job, you manifest your soulmate, you manifest you know, a better house and all those sorts of things, all of a sudden uh, it's like, it's like the universe is like, yeah, okay, now you're gonna get a major lesson. Happened to me too. I desperately wanted to be a full-time traveler and I traveled a lot. And it was that moment when I got what I wanted that I, of course, went through my Saturn's return and I, I got my spiritual awakening and nothing made sense anymore. All of a sudden, everything that I really yearned for, I just didn't really enjoy it anymore. And these are major lessons in our life that come at times when you really don't want them to happen, but they happen for a reason. So let me talk about that. Hello, my beautiful fellow human beings. My name is Christina. And as always, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell because we're talking about spiritual awakening, your inner guidance system, and how to manifest the life of your dreams. It's so funny how the universe has such sense of humor. It's like every time that you're striving for something and you get it, you enjoy it for a little while and then comes another lesson or something that you need to integrate within yourself. And it can be something small or it can be something really big like Saturn's return when your entire existence is shaken. And I've been through this and it is not a happy process. Let me tell you that. It's really everyone who's, who's past their 27, 28, 29, 30s knows probably what I'm talking about. Those are very rough years. And, um, I think that the reason why this is happening is because every time that you're striving for something in material life, it's like you are focused, too focused on building that sense of stability. Talk about the chakra system, you know, it's like a level. So you're going through the survival instinct, the, the, the sexual creative energy, the willpower, then your heart. And then like you really start manifest. Once you connect with your heart, you start manifesting things. And that's when you connect with your soul as well up till that point it's all about basically your ego trying to survive in this heavy density matter and so i oftentimes feel that when we are too focused on the things that are connected with our ego we are also uh not really letting our soul to have the say if, if i can say it like that so let's just say that you're too focused on what am i going to eat today like how am i going to feed my family of course your soul at that moment doesn't have much to say because your soul is always honoring you and you should always honor your soul and so your soul at that moment feels like okay this is not a good time to bring this lesson unless it's a part of your path when you are fulfilling the desires of your ego and you fulfill them there will be a point when you have it and you will realize okay next and when you do this several times, there will be a point when your soul finally has the freedom to step in and say, okay, now it's my turn. We are here ultimately for the expansion of the soul. So when you have integrated the material things in your life, now your soul has the ability to step in and say to the universe, okay, now we are secure. We, we have been, you know, through the survival instincts and stuff like that. By the way, I do have a video about your chakra system where I talk briefly about what your chakras are and how to know which chakras you actually operating on right now, which one is blocked and which one is too overpowering and how to actually fix that. So make sure that you check that video somewhere up here. Uh, you can stop this video and then come back to this. Your soul will know that, okay, now it's our turn to get the expansion. That is why when you actually reach a certain level, when you're going in these cycles, the hamster wheel of your ego, and you're like, I want this, I want this, I want this validation, that you get that tack and you're like, okay, done this, next. There will be a point when you will get tired with this and when your soul will step in and will say, okay, we are here for the expansion of our soul so we have to start learning these big lessons and actually i always feel like those huge lessons are great lessons because they will make you understand that life is ultimately not this illusion this maya they, they will make you rewire back and remember who you innately are 
and why you came here in the first place, why you incarnated here. It's because of your emotions. It's because of your energy. It's because of your story. It's not about the validation of others. It's because of how you feel, what your world is in here, not here. It might sound negative, but it's really not, but I'm just gonna say, life for the most part is not an easy ride. And if you're a human being, you probably agree with me and you already know this, this is not something new that I'm telling you. But it's not about what happens to us, it's ultimately about how we feel about what happens to us. That is that integration, that is that expansion, which is ultimately the reason why you are here in the first place, the purpose of your life. How you feel about this lesson and how you're going to integrate it and once again transform into another version of yourself. Everything is constantly going through a process of expansion, including yourself, every single day. Every single day you have a choice to be a different person. If you know how to navigate this, how to connect with your emotional flow, and you know, your emotional flow is everything, and you can actually learn how to generate feelings within yourself without the external source. And once again, I have another video in here, so you might actually be interested in checking that one because we feel that what happens to us navigates the flow of our being, but it's the opposite actually. And oftentimes this has also everything to do with manifestation. The way that we feel about who am I today is what we actually manifest. That's the reality that we create because as within, so without. The world outside is a reflection of who you are today. So when you start feeling that something is not right, like you got everything that you wanted, but somehow you don't feel happy about it, this is a major sign that a lesson from the universe is coming for the expansion of your soul. Now, you can act on it in a way of trying to resist it. But guess what? You're never going to be able to resist it. It's just, it's, it's inevitable. I think the better approach to this is just to stay patient, honor your soul, try to detach. If those things that you've got in your life are just not ultimately making you happy, it's okay. Those things, and this is the... The trap of ego you feel that you know that the house a job even certain people around you that they are you you start attaching yourself to those things and you feel this is me but that's a toxic relationship with your ego a healthy relationship with your ego would be knowing that i am me inside this is my integrity this is who i am this is my own self-identity and those things are just supposed to be lessons to trigger something inside of me so i can learn about myself and when you actually build a healthy relationship with your ego, you will be able to build your own identity without being attached to these external uh, sources of validation. And when you detach yourself from these external stimuli, you will understand that every lesson that happens to you actually happens for you, for your expansion. And it's very, very important. So if you start feeling like something is not feeling correct today, something is not feeling right, you're not feeling like you are appreciating things and stuff like that, try to self-reflect. There will be a lesson from the universe around the corner. And it's ultimately up to you how you integrate that lesson and how you feel about yourself so that you can actually develop or evolve into this new persona, this new beginning of your new self. I honor your soul with this video. I, I really am sending blessings to your soul. I really hope that you're going to be patient with your soul. As always, thank you so much for your time. Uh, remember, you are my beautiful star, not a stardust. And until next time, light and love. See you soon.